Hello and welcome back to the lecture on applied econometrics. So in today's lecture, we are going to talk about dummy variable. Now in the previous lecture where, where we spoke about the functional specification, we have seen the different variables and you know like how these different variables are included in a regression equation. And the kind of data we collect in economics, in the domain of economics or public policy, we will see at the end of the day, most of the variables are basically qualitative variable, okay, uh, or their categorical variable. And what do we mean by qualitative variable? So qualitative variable means the variables which really do not have any uh, specific number assigned or you cannot really express them qualitative, uh, quantitatively. For example, if you see a uh, male and female, now how exactly you will value male and female, right? So there are two categories, that's it. Or if you think about other variables, for example, political preferences. So if I'm a left or I'm a rightist or I'm a centrist, so how do you really assign values to them? Like how do you really order them? You cannot really order them. So they're just different categories, that's it. Or if it is social group, like social group in India could be like general or scheduled caste, scheduled tribe or OBC. So you cannot really, you know, sort of assign a specific value to each of these different, you know, categories. Or if you think about uh, religion, religion, Hindu, Muslim, Buddhist, Jains, Christians, right, Persians, and so many different religions you have. Now, how do you really uh, assign a value to them? You cannot really assign a value to them. And interestingly, we'll just see in a while that most of the variables, you know, uh, in that we sort of collect data on from the field are actually categorical variable, okay? And all these different types of example that I have given uh, of the qualitative variable, these are called dummy variable when you include them in a regression equation, okay? Um, so in this lecture, we're going to see how to really uh, include these variables in a regression equation and what are the different, uh, you know, types of dummy variable we may find and, you know, what are the different tests we might have to do to sort of understand which dummy variables to include in our regression equation. Now, as I said, it's a qualitative variable. Uh, and also it is called a nominal scale variable because there is no ordering done, there is no direction. And it is also called indicator variable and because it represents different categories, it is called categorical variable, okay? And we'll see that because of this categorical nature, because of this qualitative nature of this variable, always how we uh, enumerate the impact of one dummy variable is with respect to one reference dummy variable. So there is a fixed category and you always try to measure the impact of other categories vis-a-vis -vis the fixed category. For example, if I include a dummy variable called gender, and if I have like my fixed category is male, then I try to see the impact of uh, being female on the outcome variable. So we'll just see all these different, uh, you know, uh, this, this concepts in all these different categories of uh, dummy variable that we're going to see. Now, uh, how I will uh, divide the lecture into different small, small parts. So for example, first we'll talk about simple, most basic simple uh, dummy variable that is a binary dummy variable. So let's say it is only of two categories. So it could be male, female, it could be rural, urban, it could be white, non-white. So these are, these are the categories where we have, there's a binary categories, okay? So you have one category and you can basically measure the impact of the other category vis-a-vis -vis the first category. So you can define how you actually want to choose the first category. So we'll, we'll talk about that in detail then we can have more than two categories, right? The examples that I've given, if it is a, you know, a social group. So you have SC, ST, OBC, general, at least these four social categories we have in India. Now, then you don't have a binary category. So you have like four categories and four categories essentially talking about the same population, as in like the overall same population, but these are different subpopulations within, this, within the overall population. And how do you really show this subpopulation vis-a-vis -vis same population, when I have more than two subpopulation, all right? Uh, you can also think of like people living in different region, right? It, some, somebody, some people can live in the western part of India, some, some people can stay in the southern part of India, somebody can, some, some people can stay in the middle of the India, some people can stay in the eastern part of India, some people can stay in the northern part of India. Now, all these regional uh, aspects can actually influence your outcome, right? So whatever, uh, outcome variable you have. So these uh, regions can influence your outcome variable. 
Now, how do you really uh, represent these uh, different regions, right? So, this then again it comes in the category where we have more than two categories uh, for the uh, dummy variable, for the specific variable where you are actually trying to capture the impact of different regions, uh, you know, uh, in India, let us say. Now, I want, I may want to include all the category 1 and category 2 in one regression equation. So, when I do that, how do I really interpret the regression equation? That also we are going to talk about. Then, uh, we will talk about slightly different, uh, you know, type of dummy variable where uh, we actually take into account the interaction of different dummy variables. For example, if I want to see the impact of being female and being in the city, so a female who lives in the city, so that is an interaction dummy variable. I want to see the joint effect of females in rural uh, India, uh, females in urban India vis-a-vis, -vis, let us say, females in rural India, okay. Then I will uh, talk about another uh, type where the dummy variable may interact with a non-dummy variable. So, let us say female, someone is a female, but I want to understand the impact of the female, the impact of the female when they actually take into account the education part. So, let us say I want to understand the education of female and how that is uh, impacting the wage, okay. So, female education and wage. So, I am joint, I am trying to understand the joint effect of someone being female and their education and how that is influencing the wage, okay. So, we will see this category when we talk, when we talk uh, further on the dummy variable part, you know, different types of dummy variable. Now, let me actually show you uh, the data, okay, or data set so that we can actually uh, understand how dummy variable looks like. So, this is, uh, I already have imported this data set. So, this is uh, from National Sample Survey data, NSS and this is for West Bengal. So, we got all the values of, you know, of uh, all the different fields uh, from National Sample Survey data for the state West Bengal and this is a 68th round National Sample Survey data and let me first show you the data set and how it looks like. This is just to give you an idea how important dummy variable is when you actually collect data from the field. So, let us say I have, these are the different fields I have, okay. And I will explain these fields to give you an idea about the importance of dummy variable. So, these are all these different fields, maybe there are 70, 80 fields that you have when you actually, you, when you actually collect data from the field. Uh, let us say, so these, this FSU sample, these are all some uh, uh, numbers that we get to identify an individual, so we do not need to bother about that. Sector, let us say sector. Sector is basically representing rural and urban and it has a value as NSS will show you 2 and 1. So, it is showing rural and urban. So, either it is 2 or it is 1. See here it is all 1. It was 2 previously. State is 19. So, for all the different states, we have like all these qualitative numbers. So, 19 means West Bengal. So, the states will vary from 1 to 34, 35. And then you have, this is again a qualitative variable, then you have region. So, region is again, this is a regions are basically bigger unit than a district and a smaller unit than a state. And you have within a state, there are several regions. So, these again are categorical variables, 2, 3, you will see the values of region would be 2, 3, 5 and so forth. District, definitely it is a categorical variable because I have say 18 districts, 18 or 19 districts in West Bengal. So, you have all the numbers assigned to the district, 16, 17, 19 right, 18, 7, 4, 1, 2. Then you have some identification number, you do not really have to bother about that. Household number, it is again just a number, so it is a only category. Personal, you know, person serial number, this is again a category. We do not, we do not, we do not really need to bother about that because we essentially are trying to uh, get an aggregate effect, so not really at household level or something. Consumption for 30 days and consumption for 365 days. These are numerical variables, these are quantitative variables, okay. So, for the first time we are seeing something which is a quantitative variable. So, it represents some, you know, in monetary term. So, how much uh, consumption was done for 30 days or how much consumption was done for 365 days, all right. Household size, that is a quantitative variable, number of people living in a household. Then we have indus this, this industry code and then occupation code, these are only just code, so these are all categorical variables. 
then household types what type of household de based depending on the major occupation of the household uh, owner we have we created different categories for household type so this again is a categorical variable then we have religion so religion we have like values one two three so forth so this is basically hindu muslim and you know other religions then your social group social group as we said this is a categorical variable so it could be one two three like you know uh, nine so there are four categories in a national sample survey so it's basically uh, general scheduled caste scheduled tribe and obc then land ownership is a quantitative variable so how many hectares or acres of land you have uh, mn rega card if someone is having mn rega card so it will either be zero or one or basically it has two values one or two here so this again is a dummy variable then we have gender or sex that is again a dummy variable so one or one and two so it represents male and female age is a quantitative variable so we have age marital status male uh, sorry married unmarried widowed divorced so these are all categorical variable general education you have number of years of education so that's a quantitative variable and here you have technical education technical education one can have polytechnic degree one can have engineering degree one can have medical degree so these are all again categorical variable okay so these are current uh, you know uh, attendance uh, status so that is basically if someone is actually attending school or not attending school these are again a categorical variable so actually even these variables i am not explaining all these different variables but most of the variables you will see these are all categorical variable okay so for example mode of payment if some someone is working in a factory how the payment is made is it is it made weekly basis is it daily basis is it monthly basis so these are all again categorical variables so all these variables all these variables that you see they are actually categorical variables so essentially we'll see most of the variables that we use in the regression equation are categorical variables so they are all will come under the uh, dummy variable category and that is why it is so important when you want to use all these different variables in our regression it is really very important that we understand the concept of dummy variable and how to use the dummy variable so let's say we want to run a regression on wage okay and how we really do that but before that let me actually show you how we actually represent the dummy variables so here i have you see the data set in data set we have the values because you know values like 1 2 3 4 5 and so forth right uh, but you actually uh, want to so they have not really considered how you are going to use the variables they simply have assigned some numerical value to represent different categories and but you have to use it so let's talk about the first category um, and how to use it so let's talk about the male female category okay so let's the dummy variable with binary categories let's say we will deal with the gender and let's say rural urban which is in our data set is sector so let's say how let's see how we are going to use this uh, two dummy variables in our regression equation so let me go back let me actually run a regression let's see what are the different uh, variables we have we can see the pane on the right side that actually talks about all the different columns and let's say i want to run a regression let's say i want to run a regression on let's say wage total so that is the wage we have total wage so that's my dependent variable and i'll include some of the independent variables i have variables like i will include gender sex and age i will include age or experience and let's say i will include the levels of education the levels of education that is uh, that is here general education and let's say i will include sector right so rural urban okay so let, let's first run a very simple equation i will i can use a do file to run the code or i can type simply there regress let's say wedge total then we general education then let's say i put age so age so for example like i can i could have used experience but i'm not 
I have to create experience using you know other variables like age and years of education. We, we can do it later on. This is just for the illustration of let's say the dummy variable. Now we have sector and we have let's say sex okay. Or let's first take only one variable, sex, okay, male and female. And if I run it, I will get the regression here. And my regression shows that so you get some value for sex, okay. So it is minus uh, point minus three eight five point nine three, and it has it is significant. P value is zero, so it has uh, important uh, contribution to the regression equation. R square value is not very high and other variables you included all comes out to be significant. So essentially uh, how do we explain this regression equation is that you explain it so you have taken the values of the dummy variable as 1 and 2. So here Stata will choose one reference category okay you have not uh, def defined it uh, that way so let us say the state has chosen in this case state has chosen uh, one as a reference category and one is male and two is female so the moment you move from one to two the moment you increase the value it actually shows that your income is declining and it is declining 385 rupees 385.9 rupees and let's say this in this income data is per week so it is per week a female being a, if you are a female then your income is going to be less than male by rupees 385 okay so that's basically what it is saying so with this we'll end the lecture here in the next lecture i'm going to detail uh, basically i'm going to explain the regression equation and sort of you know like how to incorporate the dummy variable in the regression equation in detail thank you